What's going on guys? It's your boy Windex CJ. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about the Halo Infinite Phase X Nissan Halo Invitational that we saw this weekend. Not gonna lie to you. Um, well, I wasn't too big on it at first to be honest, cause like Halo's been kind of like dry. And when, when games are like super, super dry and there's like nothing really to do, like I don't, I don't know. It's kind of just hard to like stick with it, you know? But um, I'm not gonna lie, watching the pros go at it really kind of like reinvigorated some of that like fire that i had for halo infinite and like i guess that's kind of what i needed to watch i didn't get to watch every day because it was uh sunday and saturday but um i did get to watch pretty much the end of the tournament on sunday where pretty much like the winner's bracket kind of showed down and it was very very interesting i'm not gonna lie to you so pretty much for the uh for the most part we saw all the like major hts partner teams go at it cloud nine phase g2 uh, United optic all the all the good guys, you know, and um, it was very interesting It was very very interesting again. I didn't get to watch everything but from the um From the bracket which uh, probably show on screen at some point. Um, it looked like there was some good games in there um, very interesting cloud nine and Optic pretty much went off the entire time. They really didn't drop an entire map at all until they pretty much faced each other at the grand final um same thing for like phase uh they they were really strong too but they got ultimately knocked out by sentinels which is great um, i'm a little disappointed i didn't really get to watch that this is kind of like the more of the competition that i want to see when it comes to like major hcs stuff like obviously like for the past like three months cloud nine has been like the team to watch the favorites because they've just been dominating everybody and even in this tournament like they really much didn't lose until they got dropped to the lower bracket and they had to fight sentinels but even now like going back to the upper bracket we see that it's cloud nine and optic which is pretty much how it kind of was for a little bit towards the uh last two like major competitions for hts but even then we see like phase and uh sentinels and even e united getting in the mix and like i really i really enjoy competition more than like just having one person dominate when i'm kind of just a spectator obviously like if you're like a cloud nine fan or something like that you want to see them just dominate every time because that's your team but like after a while even as like a neutral or like having a favorite that kind of just gets boring for me personally so it was very interesting to see how this competition would end up to shape out to be and ultimately optic game will go on to win optic game will go on to win the entire tournament to take home the forty thousand dollar prize for first place which is crazy because uh i think that was like the original prize pool but due to like um crowdfunding it got like bumped up to 75k which is great for like just a invitational that's made by a relatively big organization but it's still like kind of just like a not really like a main stage type tournament so that was pretty cool to see but again we ultimately see optic gaming coming in uh first cloud nine coming in second sentinels coming in third and the host of the tournament phase clan coming in fourth which is pretty much neck and neck with what we see um pioneers came in fifth e united came in sixth. um again not too bad not too bad uh didn't really get to see too much of uh x set or fanatic or space station but really interested to see how this will go leading into um hcs kansas which is like in what a week or two something like that two weeks um yeah just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on like what happened and everything like that and like just give you guys some of my thoughts and opinions on it um definitely plan on covering some more hcs stuff as it goes on maybe doing some more halo infinite content or just halo content in general halo infinite has been like super dry but season two is coming up soon so i'm hoping that will kind of like relight the spark not only in me but like a lot of other halo fans as well and i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't want to keep it too long just kind of want to talk to you guys about what happened and like give my thoughts on it so if you found the video helpful and or informational at all please leave a like on the video i'll uh, leave a comment down below on have you been keeping up with halo infinite or like the esports stuff in general and if you want more halo content or stuff like this then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below for your boy it's my boy windex cj catch you guys in the next video peace out spartans